<laughs> What's going on, everybody? It is your boy Bad Dog here, the another New York Giants post game. I actually wasn't going to even do the post game, but uh, you got to do a post game when the Giants play, don't you? Do me a favor, hit the thumbs up because it always helps out the video huge. Hit the subscribe or ring the bell. Yes, we'll be here for the final five games of the New York Giants football season. And at this point, it looks like the quarterback will not be something that they're drafting. Now, I know this game is going to piss off the New York Giants fans that wanted to tank, and I completely understand why. They played against a team that really was looking to tank, uh, in my opinion. New England Patriots are awful. That is a really bad, really bad football team. And the funny thing about the Giants, are talking about this with Chris in the live stream, you know, the Giants... And again, these are rips. You know, obviously, missing a field goal at the end of the game, which both Chris and I said it was going to happen. It was only fitting that he missed a field goal. I didn't want to go in overtime. I certainly didn't want a damn tie. But you knew he was missing. The Patriots are, are two and nine or whatever the hell they are now. You knew he was missing the kick. That's what two and nine teams do. Um, but I, I know it's going to upset a lot of people. But you think about it. If the Giants would have just got a yard against Buffalo and held off the Jets like they should have. They'd be six and six right now. We'd be singing a totally different tune about the New York Giants, but uh, winning an ugly game and it was disgustingly ugly. Um, you know, they just again, they're, people are going to get mad about. Hey, they're not going to get a quarterback. And listen, there's nothing you can do about it. They win a football game. Can't get mad at them for wanting to win football games. That's what they're out there to do. Uh, you got to be happy for Dable. You got to be happy for Tommy DeVito. Like I said, Tommy DeVito is a very nice story. You know, he did another good job today. Was he phenomenal? No. Did he miss some throws? Yes. Did he take some sacks? Yes. He's an undrafted free agent. Um, that's now one back-to-back -back games for the Giants. They won two games all year. The last two games they've won. Now they have four wins. It is what it is. I, like I said, I'm looking at player performances at this point in the year, and you have to be impressed with the defense. Now, granted, they're playing, like I said, against a really, really bad New England offense. But you've seen Flash is a really good play. Kayvon Thibodeau, again, half sack. Force fumble, a couple of tackles were lost. Bobby Okereke played another great game today. Saw three interceptions. Xavier McKinney had a really good day today. So you've seen really good play. I'm really excited about Jalen Hyatt, man. Jalen Hyatt has been part of the offense the last couple of games. He can just do so much. He's so explosive. He gives us that exciting play on offense that we really haven't had since Odell Beckham uh, was here. And, of course, they were the same number, 13, ironically. But I just think that if you could actually get a guy that could get the ball to Jalen Hyde, he can definitely be an extremely dangerous weapon in the offense. Wondell Robinson also, I think, can do a lot of good things for the Giants going forward. Again, people are going to get mad at the fact they're not going to get a quarterback. You don't know. Maybe they do get a quarterback. Maybe they trade up. We still don't know where the hell we're picking. Maybe in the second round, I don't know what they're going to do. I mean, who knows? We don't know where we're picking. We don't know who's available. We don't know who's picking in front of us. We don't know what they're going to pick. It's all up in the air at this point. Maybe a guy like Cam Ward is somebody you look at later in the draft. Um, you know, that uh, Jane Daniels is really taking that step up, probably going to win the Heisman. But, you know, again, we're going to have to just trust Joe Shane to make the right decision, whatever that may be. Um, so you can't really get mad at them for winning football games. It is their job to do so. There was a lot of talk earlier that there's tension between Dable and and Wink. Now, I don't know if this has been going on all year. I don't know if this just surfaced because the last two games, last three games, actually, the Giants have 11 takeaways. Um, so it's not like the defense has played poorly. The defense has actually played very well. And all of a sudden, you're starting to hear these rumblings. Now, the ironic thing is, last year, a lot of Giants fans were worried about losing our coordinators to head coaching jobs or better positions in the NFL because the Giants were a good team last year. You know, they went to the playoffs. They won a playoff game. You're worried about losing your coordinators when you win football games to better opportunities for them and then of course when they're bad you sit there and go well they could be fired and they went to complete 180 we thought we were going to lose them to better positions last year 
And this year, it's very possible that both Wink and Kafka are relieved of their duties, as well as Bobby Johnson. But I think Wink's defense has played well. I don't think Wink deserves to be fired, if I'm being completely honest. Yeah, the defense has struggled at times this year. There's no question about it. But I think if you're going to go forward, and again, now that the Giants may not get a quarterback, um, I don't know if Dable's been calling the plays or what's going on here, but I think Kafka's going to be gone. I think Dable will take over the play calling duties no matter what next year. And I think you want an experienced defensive coordinator to handle the defense. So Wink, or I'm sorry, so Brian Dable don't really have to handle the defensive side of the football, whatever uh, it may be. But, you know, I don't know if he's calling the plays now. What I do know is we have seen, it just looks way different the way the offense is run. We are seeing shots down the field. And it's not like the offensive line is any better. I mean, Tommy DeVito is still taking sacks. I think he got sacked six times a day. Um, I felt like the offensive line did play pretty good in the first half. Um, you know, Saquon had a couple of good runs off the right side. He kind of got bottled up in the second half. We really didn't move the ball very well in the second half. But, this is, you know, this is an offense that is just down to backups and, Andrew Thomas is playing injured. Tommy DeVito's your third string quarterback. So Isaiah Hodgins got a touchdown there. I mean, they're spreading the ball around a lot, it, it seems to me. They're not really using the tight end per se in the passing game, but it just looks different. You see shots down the field to Jalen Hyatt. You know, you're seeing passes more than eight yards in the air, um, just completely different. And again, I don't know how much that has to do with who's calling the plays, how much it has to do with the quarterback and the decision making, whatever. One can only speculate what the deal is. Um, again, the offense hasn't it certainly didn't like the world on fire today. They did have some nice plays, they have some gaffes. Um, but what do you expect from a team that had three wins going in to the season? Again, I don't get at this point, I'm indifferent. I understand the people that want to lose, I understand the people that want to win. I don't really care either way. This season's a wash, and you have to let the chips fall where they may. You know, you, like Chris says, you cannot control the outcome of the game. You can't get upset for professionals wanting to win football games. Um, but you know, to each their own. I'm not going to tell somebody how to fan. I'll never do that. I'm not going to say, "Oh, you root for them to lose. You're not a fan." I'll never do that. No, I'll never. I'll never act like I'm better than somebody else that roots for the same team I do. It's just. It's ridiculous to me that. Some people have that notion that they think they can tell other people how to root for the Giants. I don't know where the hell they get off. I don't know where they get the ego thinking that their opinion matters more than somebody else. I don't, I'll never understand that. So the Giants come out with a victory today. Ugly, which we kind of figured it would be a really ugly game. Both of these offenses are atrocious. They're the bottom two in the league in scoring. And the over-under today was like 31. And if you took the under, that was an easy... Easy money. There's very, very few short bets in the NFL. I think taking the under today was a piece of cake. I mean, neither one of these offenses can do anything at all, especially that New England offense. I mean, I, I think you think you've got a bad here with the Giants. Um, I'll be honest. I, I watched New England play, and you know, a lot of people say the Giants are more than a quarterback away, and I agree with that. They definitely are. Giants have a lot of holes to fill here. But it does start with a quarterback. But New England, you watch that team play. Man, they are way more than a quarterback away uh, from being a competitive team. That is a bad football team over there. And, you know, it kind of sucks to see Bill Belichick be the head coach of this. I don't know what Bill Belichick has to prove anymore. Uh, if I'm Bill Belichick, he should just retire. I mean, the guy is one of the greatest head coaches, if not the greatest head coach in the history of football. He won six Super Bowls as a head coach. He won two of the defense coordinator with the Giants. And... Like I said, the guy is just an amazing football mind and just, you know, I don't hate the Patriots. I know for whatever reason, some Giants fans hate the Patriots. I've never hated New England. They're not our rival. Philadelphia and Dallas will always hold that standard to me. I hate them more than any teams on the face of the planet. I do not hate the Patriots at all. I am a Bill Belichick fan. Tom Brady was always one of my favorite football players. So I never have any ill will towards them. And I don't like seeing Bill Belichick have a bad team. In New England, I'm not used to seeing Belichick have a really poor team because he's such a good football mind. But that is a really, really bad team over there, and we'll see what they do. Obviously, there's Patriots fans that were also rooting for them to lose. They got what they wanted today. Giants fans that were rooting for the Giants to lose did not get what they wanted today. <laughs> but you can't make everybody happy, right? What I do know is that the players and coaches for the Giants will be happy tonight, even though it was an ugly win, but a W 
is a W. And the Giants get the W today. And that's all I have in this video. As always, thank you for watching. Made this far. I really appreciate it. Again, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell. And we'll see you next time. It is the Bad Diggy Dizzle. And I'm out. Peace.